2002 Ford Taurus. I'm going to go ahead and uh, as you can see I replaced the headlights with LEDs. We still have this disgusting halogen over here and it's hard to see it's actually kind of peeling off the orange paint which is just fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and swap this one out with LEDs. So first thing I'm going to do right over here is a nut. You have to undo it. It is 5 sixteenths is what it says on here even though you can't see it. And then after you do that, I'm going to undo that bolt. I'm going to go ahead you have these little clips here. You can do it with a screwdriver or if you still feel up to the challenge, you can just do it with your hand and rip it out. You're not going to break anything. Do not lose these or drop them in the engine or anything, so I'm actually going to put it on the side. I will pull these out first. And I'm going to go ahead and continue the video in a minute because I need two hands for this. So this one here, I had... When I had put it back in last, I put it way too far down. So you can just use a screwdriver and kind of pry at it like that. It's going to pull up and pop in a minute, but once again, I need two hands for that. So when you have those out, see the clip is out, clip is out, bolt is off. They're all right there. All you got to do, grab it, you might want to wiggle it a bit. Might be easier to kind of grab it around here. Got to use two hands. And it just kind of pulls right on out here. Just slides on out like butter. Just like butter. Well. And. That right there is what we're going to be pulling out and replacing this thing right down here. That little plug. So for this here, I'm going to be replacing that disgusting thing with these. LED uh, turn signals. Get them on Amazon, couple bucks. Uh, these here are Finlion brand apparently. One thing to note, this is one of the last bulbs I have to do in the entire car. I've already done all of the other ones, swapped them to LED. And I've used this brand, L-U-Y-E-D. And they have been very bright and pretty dependable so far. So those are the two brands, if I were you, that I would recommend. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get this out a little bit further. It's like it's stuck down here near the front. second. So the reason it wouldn't come out so easily is there's a little thing underneath the part of the light here as you can see it kept getting caught on here. So when you get to pull it all the way out go ahead and tilt it up like that. Flip it over. Once again this is the one we're interested in. Just give it a little quarter turn to the left. Oh god that is disgusting. Look at that. It's shedding. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to hold this in place. So I'm going to use, um, I'm not going to replace it with another halogen. I'm probably just going to throw this thing out, but just for good practice, I go ahead and go ahead and wrap it in a paper towel so you don't get oils on it. So I'm going to do that, remove it. Um, then I'm going to pop the LED in. It should go in the exact same way as this one fits in there. So let me do that real quickly. So this isn't even rubbing it. This is just from grabbing it and taking it out. So yeah, that's that's not going to cut it. So I went ahead and popped it in. It's super simple. It fits exactly in there the same way the old one does. Something to note that I had an issue with the reverse lights where this here was way too big to fit into this little thing here. So these here are the right size, luckily. So be aware of that when you buy things. You might want to opt for ones that have free returns. Just shove it in, quarter click to the right. Go ahead and make sure these wires here get inside there and you're not crushing them. And put it back, just kind of wiggle it a little bit. Make sure that's all the way up against there. When you tighten it, it can go ahead and uh, it'll fit a little better. Just make sure that's all lined up. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put 
that nut and bolt back in there, those two clips, and I'll go ahead and test it.